But lack of strategies. This one is a very powerful one. Lack of strategies. Another word, inefficiency. Lack of strategies. This one concerns many leaders. They know what to do. Prophecy is already there. The vision is already there. But I have told you it is prophecy plus strategy that equals manifestation. It's vision plus strategy that equals manifestation. I don't care what God told you, quite honestly. I don't care what the blueprint you have for your future. It will never come to pass until you press to receive in addition to that vision, in addition to that prophetic word, the strategy allocated. Your real victory is not knowing that you will defeat Jericho. Your real victory is receiving the strategy on how to bring Jericho down. Your real victory is not crossing the Red Sea or moving to the other side. It's knowing how you are going to maneuver your way from the other end of the Red Sea to the other end of the Red Sea. Walking on water is an option. Parting the Red Sea is an option. Using a boat is an option. They are all options. So you have to stay with God. Every prophetic word requires a strategy. Every vision requires a strategy. Every season requires a strategy. All strategies do not work on all visions. No, sir. The engine, for instance, of a Toyota car, as well built as it is, may not fit a Mercedes Benz. That does not mean there's anything wrong with that engine. The nature of the configuration. And if you have to force a Toyota engine to work, say, for instance, in a Mercedes, you will have to cut too many things, adjust too many things, and manage that experience for the rest of your life or your driving experience. Many people are not able to excel because they have not stayed with God. You know what God has told you you will become, but has he told you how it will happen? No wonder Mary kept the angel and said, don't go. How shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? How, don't just tell me it will happen. How shall these things be? Luke 1, 34, she asked him, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? I, the natural way of having a child is a man and his wife. Now you are telling me I'm not yet married to Joseph. And you are telling me I'm going to be with child, albeit without the direct assistance of a man. So explain to me what other strategy is there. I'm not aware. And the answer came in verse 35. Hallelujah. Give it to us verse 35. The angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost. Do you know this is a powerful revelation? That means, just help those under the anointing. Listen, it means everything that is natural has a spiritual dimension to it that God can reroute the same thing. When God puts principles, it's not because he's limited. It's to create order. When situations call for change, he can circumvent those things. The normal course is for Mary and Joseph to birth a child but he's saying listen you have been taught that it is Mary and Joseph that equals a baby however there is still another technology in the spirit when the Holy Ghost comes he can do something that gives you the result don't be surprised when you see Mary pregnant and you can't find Joseph it is not always disobedience is that the Holy Ghost has come to supplement I know that that promotion should come after 10 years that is the principle. But don't be surprised when a 10-year-old harvest comes to a man in one day. It is not unusual. When the Holy Ghost comes, he can rewrite things. I know that the angel comes to steer the water once a year. If you miss that moment until next year, but not when Jesus comes. When he comes, he can redefine the seasons. It's true. How shall these things be? I do not know a man. However, he says, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Hmm. 
Do you believe this? Lack of strategy. This is where the deficiency of wisdom punishes a lot of people. Please listen to me. There are many things you are writing right now. What you need is not prophecy on it. What you need is the strategy. How many of you know that the oil in the house of the wife of the sons of the prophet, there was already capacity. Isn't it amazing that the things we look outside are already in our house? It's only that you have not been told what to do with the oil. For some of you, God brought you here not necessarily to give you oil. He came to tell you that what you have in your house, your house can be your mind. Your house can be your destiny. Your house can literally be your house. Your house can mean your company. The body of friends around you. The solution is already there. You just need to be told how to make the oil multiply. When you hold my hands, everything becomes possible. When you hold my hands, impossible becomes possible when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands i agree that when you have an infirmity the medical approach is to put you under a knife and to carefully walk through your veins and your arteries, cutting out the tumor, cutting out whatever. That is a valid pathway. There are results to show. However, do not forget that the Holy Ghost can also rest upon men and produce the same result. Mary's story is not about giving birth to Jesus. It's about possibilities beyond the realm of science. Possibilities beyond the normal course of things. That means whilst you are seated trusting God for a miracle it is true that you may need 10 million 15 million for whatever maybe kidney transplant or whatever I agree God gave the doctors the wisdom however when you see the Holy Ghost resting on people make sure you cry that he will come upon you too because he can make that experience equal to a surgery only that this one does not need anesthesia, does not need time. You don't need to be under a knife. God for you. When you hold my hands, everything becomes possible. When you hold my hands, impossible becomes possible. You can get a job, an excellent way of sojourning financially and receive X amount every month. You can stand with your two years wages, a product of diligence, a product of savings. However, you can stand on this other side because life treated you unfairly and the God of favor and mercy comes. The Holy Ghost can breathe upon you and that you will stand with someone and you are still holding two years wages too except that you don't have a job except that you are not two years it looks unfair i'm saying that anything the holy ghost does in the life of the saints is correct even if it does not look unfair even if it does not look fair it is correct so when you see mary pregnant and you don't see joseph don't criticize her find out who else came upon her When you see a man who may not have the kind of intelligence and yet you see God increasing them, don't just say, ah, this, how did this happen? When the Holy Ghost comes upon men, the stories can be rewritten. When you see the man at Bethesda rising and it's not the season for the angel to come, don't think it was somewhere Jesus came. It's not his fault. Jesus came to him. When Jesus comes, he does not wait for seasons. His coming defines your season. Do you believe this? Listen, the, one of the greatest secrets I have learned 
about destiny actualization is to receive the strategies that make prophecies come to pass. If the only thing you run with is prophecy, you will be disappointed. God can tell you, I'm going to raise you to be an anointed apostle, a prophet, a, an intercessor. That is vision, not strategy. If the strategy does not come, you will fail as if God did not speak to you. So Joshua said, come and give us a strategy. And he said, Joshua, I know you worked with Moses for many years. You saw him manifest different strategies. You use any of those strategies for Jericho, you will fail. Here is your strategy. Once every day, go round. Once. And then by the, the seventh day, gather all the trumpeters and the singers. Go round seven times. And at the seventh time, let there be a shout, the healer, and the walls will crumble. Very pointless strategy. And yet that was a strategy that brought Jericho down. Look at the strategy that today has brought the gospel to the nations. What is the strategy? Believing a report that Jesus is Savior, that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is King, that he loved you enough to die for you. As, as supposedly frail as that strategy is, this is what has turned ordinary men to champions. It is that strategy that turned Paul, Saul to Paul. It is that strategy that turned weak men. Hallelujah. <laughs> you are as powerful as the strategies that back you, not just the prophecy that backs you. You are as powerful as the strategies for some of you whilst this meeting is going on i'm saying this so that you will know how god visits you you may not fall and shout and do all of that but a strategy comes to you pray every morning 12 to 2 do that for three months i will speak to you that's it that is the strategy that will open the next phase of your ministry it may not be applicable to everyone it came to you as a rhema you just do it are we together? I, I recall, I, I, I'm, I'm reminded about, you know, our story moving into Abuja here. I've said it many times, but for the sake of those who have not heard, I remember I started praying and the Holy Spirit asked me to buy the map of Abuja, the map of Nigeria, the map of Africa, and the map of the globe. Place it on the ground and keep praying. That was it. What sort of a foolish strategy is that? I'm saying, oh God, where is the venue? Where am I going to meet with the people? These crowds you are showing me in the vision, where will they be? Who is going to pay the bills first and foremost? Strategy. For someone, your strategy will be that when a shout comes, shout. The strategy will be dance away your problems before God. And it may not make sense. You see, that's why the Bible says the natural man cannot understand the things of the spirit. He cannot profit. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't follow the path of logic, spiritual things. Someone says strategy. This is a major reason why many destinies are kept. They lack strategies. Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 10. 10 and verse 10. If the iron be blunt... He said, and he do not wet the edge, sharpen the edge. Then must he put more strength, inefficiency. But wisdom is profitable in that it sustains the power to give you direction. Wisdom is profitable to direct. There is a way to do ministry such that you will win. There is a way to do ministry that you will be in pain and you will lose forever. There is a way to do business such that you become an indomitable winner. There is a way to do business that you become an apology to yourself and to others. Are we together? There is a way to raise children that you raise champions and giants. There is a way to raise children that cause you to go to your grave early. Have you obtained the strategy for your destiny? 
Lay your hands on your head in one minute and say, Father, reveal the strategy. The strategy for this prophetic word you have given me. Someone be serious. Reveal the strategy that you have allocated for the manifestation of your word in my life. You have said is a year of exceeding great rewards. I receive the strategy by the power of God. There is a strategy that sustains the anointing that God placed upon your life. There is a strategy that sustains your relevance. There is a strategy that sustains everything God has given you. All the overflows inside, outside, connecting across the globe. Are you praying? I receive the strategy. Go ahead and pray. Breathe, Lord, breathe. Breathe, Lord, breathe. Breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord, breathe. Breathe, Lord, breathe. Breathe upon my life. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Take a minute to pray. Strategies as powerful as prophecy. Strategies as powerful as vision. Strategies as powerful as prophecy. Don't tell me God said, receive the strategy on how it will happen. If God says, go forward, receive the strategy. Your victory is not just in the prophecy. Your victory is not just in being visionary. You must obtain the strategy. Receive, manifest His power, His wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Hallelujah. Please look up. Look up. From the jawbone of a donkey to the rod that parted the Red Sea to the worshippers leading the army in the days of Jehoshaphat to gathering them ten thousands and counseling them according to the advice of Jethro, Moses' father-in-law down to Jesus making the people to sit in fifties and hundreds and using five loaves and two fish from a young lad that Andrew brought, do you not see that the victory of believers all through the Bible is not just prophecy dependent, it is strategy dependent. God is speaking to a businessman. It is true God called you to that business, but you will keep failing until strategy comes. Strategy is like the battery that powers the clock of your destiny. Have you seen someone buy a new clock new clock a wall clock and there's no battery there the clock has potentials and yet it cannot move it cannot work for someone you came for koinonia tonight not necessarily because you are sick in your body you're not trusting god for healing per se but is that your life you are you'll be marking time from january till now you need strategy when it's time to pray pray this with all your heart when God began to speak to us about carrying this apostolic fire to the nations, I went to God in prayer and I said, God, there has to be a strategy. These things need finances. These things need the participation of nations. You are stepping into nations with different policies, different biases. The world is no longer a safe place. It's not enough to just give a matching order. 
What is the strategy? Can I tell you, it's not God's responsibility to spoon feed you with the strategy. Strategy is a product of hunger. It is your hunger that drives you to stay and say, I will not move until it comes. I have received the prophetic word. I have re received the green light, but send me the strategy. God told Moses, go to Pharaoh and advocates the exodus of God's people. Moses said, mm -mm, not like that. I know Pharaoh, I know Egypt. I was born, I live there. What is the strategy? And he said, take that rod. Now is the rod of God wherewith you would do wonders. And Moses said, that's fine, let's go. Strategies. Who told you your business cannot rise? Who told you the reason you are suffering is just because rates are high? While we sympathize with those things and we pray that things go down, but it's not the truth. That's not the reason. Hmm. There is a strategy behind the prophecy that you will be a house owner. If you don't get the strategy, the prophet, you, you will become mocked by that pro that, that. Moses, you are going to be a deliverer, but make sure the strategy is known. Moses did not know the strategy, so he killed an Egyptian by inventing his own strategy. He was a deliverer, but because he did not have a strategy, he took initiative and that cost him a lot. It is dangerous to use your own strategy to try to bring God's vision. Using your own strategy is another way of giving your hands to Satan and say, change my destiny. It's not only prophecy you should receive. Who is God speaking to today? I believe someone, you came to church tonight. This is your miracle service. You are a man of God, no doubt. His grace is on your life, no doubt. You copy blindly, you will suffer as if God did not call you. You have to stay. What is the strategy? There has to be a strategy for my joy, a strategy for my peace, a strategy for my rising, a strategy for my excelling. How am I supposed to live and work in this place? Nobody likes me in that office. Perhaps I'm the only believer. Ask Daniel. There was a strategy given to Daniel that made him to succeed in Babylon. Babylon was not his house. It was not a favorable place. It was a place of idolatry. And yet Daniel excelled. Don't say it's the job. It is the absence of strategy. I feel tempted to ask you one more time to cry. Lord, show me the strategy. What is the strategy for tomorrow? What is the strategy for doing ministry profitably such that God becomes glorified in and through my life? What is the strategy for doing business God's way? Now that you know to bribe and to steal and to be corrupt is not God's way. Have you received God's strategy? He made known his ways to Moses. Don't just celebrate prophecy. Don't just celebrate vision. You must stay to receive the strategy. One minute, you are praying. Salika prandas kabaraka toshates. Salem berekete prakatos kabres. Zabranda berekoska. Agrapete berekete berekete paskatiata. Go ahead and pray. Without a strategy, even though prophecy may be there, without a strategy, even though vision may be there, Victory may be far from you. Take a minute to pray. You are investing in your destiny. Let a man of God pray. Let a champion pray. Let one who is tired of his current location in life and destiny pray. Open my eyes, oh God. Let me see. Open my eyes, oh God. Let me see. The strategy that brings me to a wealthy place. The strategy that gives me rest round about. The strategy for increase in ministry. Rest round about. Send it, oh God, from heaven. Someone pray. There is a strategy. God will never give you an assignment without the strategy. You were not patient. You were not patient enough to stay till the strategy comes. In Jesus' name I pray. I'm pressing on this point because I know there is an anointing on it. As I came, I realized by the Spirit preaching that this is where the problem of many people is. That's why God is impressing on me. Stay here for a bit. 
not many it's easy to pray and minister healing it's easy to pray and minister deliverance but most people's problem is not lack of vision they know what they want already the strategy there are things God told me there are covenants I have with him there are strategies I receive from him and there is an oath over those strategies that it will never fail never fail it's true Do you know, I remember one of the times, I've not shared this, when I was praying, the overflows, I didn't even know this auditorium, didn't even know there would be space. I know that I saw crowds of people and I was wondering, where in Abuja will these people be? Where will they stay? Where, how, how am I going to keep these people? This is what I was seeing in my visions. And I was wondering, for God's sake, where will these people be? I just know that I was seeing this thing in my vision. And God said, you just stay with me. Get the map of Abuja, the map of Nigeria, the map of Africa, the map of the globe. Lay your hands on it and pray every day. That's it. The foolishness of obedience can I tell you when you see believers look like they are signs and wonders it's not as if it is their making is the reason why we do not glorify self when these things happen we point people to that King eternal the one who is the only wise God it is out of his wisdom we have drawn let me tell you the truth. Be tired of where you are now and cry and say, Father, the grace will not be shared tonight until the strategy that I need. I remember crying to God in prayer. What is the secret? What really makes ministry work? Strategy. <laughs> And that from a child, thou hast known the Holy Scripture, which is able to make you wise unto salvation. Meditate on these things, he says. Give yourself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear unto all. That thy profiting may appear unto all. For someone after this miracle service, obtain grace to go for a retreat and don't come out of that retreat until you come up with a blueprint are we together i think it was john a. a allen he had cried and cried for the miracle working power of god and nothing happened he went to lock himself and he told his wife he said honey i'm not coming out of this place until god gives me the secret to a supernatural healing ministry and he locked himself and according to him there were seven things that were downloaded from heaven and that if he walked in keeping with those things he would have an excelling ministry and oh boy did he from nation to nation exceptional things for the kingdom I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ receive this as an impartation that before this service is over an information an idea a strategy unique to you unique to that which God has ordained for you let it rest upon you let it rest upon you when that strategy comes into your spirit may it turn you to a sign and a wonder may it turn you to an object of praise hear me every problem is as mighty as the absence of strategies when strategies come they deflate challenges spiritual challenges family life marital challenges financial challenges whatever it is don't ask if things can be done your prayer is Lord download from heaven it can't be that my business you called me into this business you didn't send me to come to Abuja and roam around I, you told me I'm a kingdom financier. It's been three years, all doors closed. There has to be a way. There has to be a way. 
there has to be a way you told me i will feed my family i will feed nations i am here begging instead of getting angry and saying god all this week <coughs> send me help from your sanctuary is that not in your bible psalm 20 and verse 1 give us verse 1 and 2 let me even speak it as a prophetic word over someone the lord hear thee in the day of trouble the name of the god of jacob defend thee may he send you help tonight from this sanctuary may he send you help tonight from this sanctuary may he send you help tonight from this sanctuary in the name of jesus oh, oh, oh. my help has come oh, oh, oh. As the prophetic word God gave you as the vision he put before you alongside the strategy he gave you it is that combination that produces victory let me give you the last one please sit please sit hmm. someone is ready to testify I know when something enters I know when I know when a spirit communication someone has really received something that you will go back home and even though there is nothing before you you begin to dance because the strategy has come God has shown me how to do ministry and win. God has shown me how to raise my children and win. God has shown me how to live in Abuja and win. In America and win. In UK and win. The way of the winner is the way of the spirit. The way of the winner is the way of the spirit. Did you hear what I said? Truly. Should I pursue? And he said, pursue, overtake, and without fail, recover strategies. Why are you crying unto me, Moses? Tell the people that they go forward. Stretch forth your rod and speak to the Red Sea. Cause it to part heater and teeter. And let the people walk on dry ground. Strategy. If it be thou, bid me come. Come. Strategy. How can you walk 
When you don't know the way of the world hey, How can you run When you don't know the way of the spirit How can you fly When you don't know the way of the wind His power at work in you Changing everything Recreating everything in obedience to Christ, rewriting everything in obedience to Christ, rebuilding everything in obedience to Christ. He's the Holy Ghost, you're the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. of the King of Kings, you're the Holy Ghost, seal of the age to come, He's changing everything, in obedience to Christ, it's in obedience to Christ, in obedience to Christ, it's in obedience to Christ. Listen.